Hello in the game fans, more must-see trailers that were new in April, with the usual mix of released games, Kickstarter trailers and some long-awaited titles, starting with Streets of Rage 4. Channel subscribers Who Is He, Ludovic Piroli and Ben Prince, among many of you, are rightfully excited for this game, which is perhaps not so indie, but in a similar spirit. The Sega Classic has not had a new entry since 1994, and given that Streets of Rage 2 was a huge part of my childhood, I too am looking forward to this. Awesome new trailer shows off the return of classic characters in pixel art no less, with awesome remixed tunes as well. While survival games may be old hat by now, throw in beautiful visuals, the ability to sail your own boat, and good looking combat, and Windbound certainly is doing something right. A pixel art action roguelite where you wield the titular Sword of the Necromancer. This is a weird thing since necromancers don't normally wield swords, but this allows you to resurrect your enemies and get them to fight for you with meta progression as you retain some XP every run. This game is currently on Kickstarter and has already been fully funded with some interesting stretch goals to end off their campaign. Nothing too fancy with this trailer, since the previously covered Neon Abyss just dropped a new trailer, with the same sick beats but some new enemies shown off, from Killer Clowns, Jellyfish and Teddy Bears. This pixel art rogue light platformer still looks great, and the console releases got confirmed as well. Puzzle platformers tend to be a dime a dozen, but when I saw Airhead, 
the beautiful visuals grabbed my attention. Play as a Hitler's body who has to save the titular airhead from a life threatening leak. It states a Metroidvania-like world with environmental puzzles, so of course, that got me interested. So we'll see how this turns out. The developer of Eternal Noctis reached out to me via email and after checking out their Kickstarter page, got me interested in showing it off. This is a 2D hand-drawn Metroidvania where you play as the King of Darkness and must recover your powers by exploring the world and fighting bosses. It has beautiful stained glass artwork and gorgeous lighting effects so immediately interested in this. This is only about 30% funded with 16 days left to go, so if it tickles your fancy, do consider supporting them as well. Developer Inco is known for their strength in writing, having made both 80 Days and Heaven's Vault, so when Pendragon was announced, Promising a narrative strategy game based on King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, I'm pretty curious to see what they come up with. Again not a new title but Overcooked 2, Gourmet Edition, got announced for all platforms and bundles in all previously released DLC. If you have still not picked this one up, what are you waiting for? Having been on my list of the best local multiplayer games, this is just fantastic and highly recommended. Cyberpunk themed action roguelite with a cell shaded art style more or less describes Danger Scavenger. So again, as a fan of the genre, it did catch my eye. Although we'll have to wait and see what it brings to the table in terms of innovation. Dracorum lived in peace and its king meted out justice with sympathy. After the death of Draken's king, darkness spread over everything that was under the sky. Almost everything. 
The Chosen sacrifice everything. It is the hero's path. But sometimes a ray of light changes it all. Only the union of those chosen will bring new hope that will bring the rebirth, that will bring the home game. Besides having one of the more kick-ass looking artistic trailers, which then doesn't quite translate into the gameplay footage, Home Gang Memories of the Forgotten is nonetheless a title to look forward to, since this is a hack and slash RPG with punching narratives. The pedigree of this Spanish developer is also fantastic, with developers having previously worked on Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Metroid Samus Returns. So it could be interesting, but hasn't quite hit its Kickstarter goal as of yet. The highlight of Dordogne, which, pardon my French, is the absolutely stunning hand-painted art style and is a narrative adventure game where you play as a little girl visiting the house of her recently deceased grandmother, reading letters and solving puzzles. Oh my goodness, just sit back for a minute and admire the beauty of this game. Seems super pleasant, so one to check out. Dorfheim looks like it has something for everyone, since this is a city builder RTS hybrid which looks pretty sweet. Of course, with the title, you are managing dwarves once again, so mine resources, construct buildings and defend your ancestral home both on the surface and deep underground. There is a single player sandbox or survival mode, probably akin to They Are Billions, but there is also 4v4 competitive multiplayer RTS as well. The life sim RPG, next to the farming sim genre, are favourites of mine, so Hoko Life is an interesting upcoming one that I'm looking forward to. This leans more on the Animal Crossing side of things, which is nice, since there isn't really a substitute on PC but it does look like the same light-hearted fun. The money! 
Andy! The fancy trailer of Company of Crime doesn't show off much of the gameplay, but this has you playing as either the criminals or the police in 1960s London. Oh bugger. The boss is not gonna like this. Sorry about that. No worries, mate. While the Mafia has been well represented in games, the British version of this looks interesting with melee focused turn based tactics combat combined with a meta strategy layer. You seem different. Untouched by false truths. gifts from the unwilling, or will you let them rot? Bring the glands back to me. If you love Souls-like RPGs, then listen up. Mortal Shell looks like an absolutely gorgeous one of these from a team of less than 20 and looks like it nails that grim dark aesthetic horrific enemies and that stamina-based punishing combat. One fun fact is that this game has actually been covered on the channel before in another form, previously known as Dungeon Haven, but the team has since grown and signed with a publisher. This looks awesome and one that I'm very hyped about. If you enjoyed the video, why not share it with a friend? Check out even more great indie gaming videos and in this current climate, stay safe and I will see you after the jump.